This video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on joint venture account. I invite all the students who intend to study joint venture accounts to this video lectures. I want to solve one sum on joint venture accounting wherein independent books of accounts are maintained. Now what is joint venture? Joint venture is a partnership for a short duration. Joint venture is a partnership for some specific purpose. Moment the purpose is achieved, partnership comes to an end. Moment the period for which the partnership is entered into, the partnership is brought to an end. It's a short term partnership. Generally, Independent, the accounting technique for that is either you maintain independent books of accounts or you can avoid even preparing independent set of books. Today I want to take one sum wherein independent books of accounts are maintained. Just observe the sum on the screen. I will read and explain to you and I will try to solve the sum here before you. This is the sum that I what you take care of? Venus and Hinal started joint venture business on 1st of October 2016, sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 3 to 2. They deposited 75,000 and 45,000 respectively in their joint bank account and decided that the joint bank account should be used for purchase and sales and joint venture expenses will be paid by each partner from his personal cash. So they started a short term partnership. Every partner, every partner contributed 75,000 and 45,000 as capital. What is being agreed? That purchases will be paid out of joint bank account. Sales revenue will be deposited in the joint bank account. Whatever the expenses occurs, that will be paid. Of course, it is an expense of the business but it will be paid by the partners from their personal private funds. Now here, the purpose of accounting is to find out the profit in joint venture. To find out the profit of joint venture business, we prepare joint venture account. All the purchases, expenses and losses will be debited, not to purchase account, expense account and respective loss account, but all of them will be debited to one account identified as joint venture account. All the incomes and gains will be credited not to sales account or income account but they will be credited to joint venture account. Now joint venture account is prepared on the basis of matching concept just like trading and profit and loss account to find out the profit. The purpose of joint venture account is to find out the profit and when you hold a purpose to find out the profit Expenses, purchases and losses are debited, incomes, gains are credited, presuming that there is no stock because the partnership firm comes to an at the end, at the end of the agreed period. So there is no closing stock like that. So on the basis of matching concept, you can match revenue, exp revenue and expenses and find out the profit. And for that purpose, joint venture account is prepared. The profit will be distributed amongst partners as agreed. And by closer of the books, closer of the partnership firm, the joint bank account also gets closed automatically. This is the modus operandi with which joint venture account, joint bank account and partner's capital account gets prepared. Venus will get 400 per month as salary. Joint venture started on 1st of October. Accounts were settled on 31st of March. 1st October to 31st of March, 6 months times 1. For 6 months, at the rate of 400 per month, salary will be paid to Venus. For journal administration, and Hinal is entitled to get 5% commission on the sales. So, another partner is entitled to have a commission on sales that will be paid on the basis of sales. Venus purchased goods worth 85,000. So, goods are purchased 85,000, so the payment will be made from joint bank account. And paid expenses of rupees 500, the 500, 5,500 5, are the expenses. That will be paid by Venus out of his pockets. So it is a expenses paid by the partner for the partnership firm. It is not the personal expense of Venus. 
but it is an expense of joint venture business, but it has been paid by the partner. He now sold some goods for rupees 75,000. So goods are sold, proceeds will be deposited in joint bank account. 700 by way of sales expenses. He now has paid 700 rupees expenses. These are the expenses of the partnership firm paid by one of the partner. So he, this being an expense of the partnership firm, it will be debited to joint venture account, but the payment will be made not out of joint bank account, but the payment will be made personally by Hinal. Venus kept himself, Venus kept for himself unsold goods for 25,000. Now whatever the goods that were unsold, they are taken by one of the partner Venus. Accounts were settled on 31st of March 2017. Prepare joint venture account, joint bank account and accounts of the partners. So these are the transaction, few transactions. On the basis of these few transactions, we are required to find out the profit and distribute the profit amongst partners in the ratio as agreed, that is 3 is to 2. Now let me prepare all the accounts that has been questioned. Joint venture account, prepared on the basis of matching concept, a like to profit and loss account. Joint, joint bank account is a why it is known as joint bank account? Because that account gets operated by the uh, signature of both the partners. So it is considered to be a joint bank account. And partner's capital account has to be prepared as usually we have studied in the, in the, in the case of partnership accounts. Let me start. So this is the sum, joint venture account, joint bank account, partner's capital account. Now they share profits and losses in the ratio of 3 to 2 that I write at the top. First, the partners contributed capital. The capital amount is deposited in the bank. Bank is the receiver of these funds. Debit joint bank account. Who is the giver? Partner is giver. The amount given by the partner is as capital. So, partner's capital account is to be credited. So, joint bank account debit to Venus capital account credit 75,000. This is how joint bank account has been debited with 75,000 and joint bank account and partner's capital account is credited with 75,000. Similarly, contribution made by another partner of 45,000, it is also deposited in the bank. Bank is the receiver, Hinal is the giver, but the Hinal is a giver, the amount contributed is in the state, is in the status of capital, so Hinal's capital account is to be credited. So journal entry for that is joint bank account debit to Hinal capital account credit. Now the first purchases are made, Purchases are paid out of joint bank account. These are the goods purchases. Goods purchases will not be debited to purchase account because it's a short duration partnership. Goods purchases will be debited to joint venture account. Payment is made out of joint bank account. So bank is the giver. Joint bank account is to be credited. And for expenses and the purchases and losses, joint venture account is to be debited. So joint venture account debit 85,000 to joint bank account credit. This is how purchase transaction is recorded. Now expenses paid 5,500 is paid not out of joint bank account. It has been paid by the partner from his personal funds. But as this is an expense of joint venture business, joint venture account is to be debited for these expenses and partner is a giver. So partner's capital account is to be credited with 5,500. This is how journal entry for this expense being paid by the partner is joint venture account debit to Venus capital account credit 5,500. Next, Hinal sold goods 75,000. Goods are sold for 75,000. Sales proceeds are deposited in the joint bank account. Bank is the receiver, debit the receiver, joint bank account debit. Sales being revenue nature, it is to be credited not to sales account, but it has to be credited to joint venture account as this is a accounting for short duration partnership. So joint bank account debit 75,000 to joint venture account credit 75,000. This is how sales revenue is recorded. Expenses paid 700. Not out of joint bank account, but the expenses are paid by the partner. Partner is the giver. This being expense joint venture account is to be debited with 700 rupees. And Hinal's capital account is to be credited with this 700 rupees. Now, this is how this transaction is recorded. The trans entry for that is joint venture account debit to Hinal capital account credit. Now the unsold goods are taken by Venus. Venus is the receiver, debit the receiver, partner is the receiver. When the partner is a receiver, partner's capital account is to be debited. So Venus capital account debit and goods go out. So it should be credited to joint venture account under matching concept. So joint venture account is to be credited for goods taken over by Venus, 25,000. Now this is how the transactions are recorded. 
now we are required to pay salary as agreed now salary given to a partner at the rate of rupees 400 per month the total duration of joint venture is 6 months 400 into 6 2400 this is a salary to be paid to a partner it is actually an appropriation of profit but as this is a short duration partnership we don't prepare separate profit and loss appropriation account as we do in case of partnership firm here the appropriation of profit is also recorded in the joint venture account because uh, no need to prepare profit and loss appropriation account because it is not a long duration partnership so 400 into 6 2400 joint venture account debit to partners capital account is to be credited salary to a partner is given as agreed now commission is to be paid at the rate of 5 percent on sales so 75,000 into 5 percent that works out to be 3750 this commission is payable to partner joint venture account debit to penal capital account credit commission paid to a partner is agreed now goods purchased all goods are sold no stock is left all expenses are recorded the mode in which the appropriation of profit is to be made as agreed is being accounted for now whatever the leftover profit is there that will be distributed amongst partners in the ratio of that profit sharing to find out that profit we are required to have balance joint venture account total of credit side minus total of debit side we will get the profit or if the debit total is more than the credit total we will get the loss in case of joint venture business now have a total of credit side 75,000 plus 25,000 1 lakh 1 lakh minus 85,000, 5,500, 700, 2,400, 3,750. That works out to be 2,650. That will be distributed in the ratio of profit sharing, that is 3 is to 2. So if you distribute in the ratio of 3 is to 2, 3 fifths of 2,650 is 1,590. 2 fifths of 2,650 is equal to 1,060. That will be credited to partner's capital account. As the partnership business is being closed down, because it is a short duration partnership, the partner's capital will be paid back. And when the partner's capital is paid, it will be, it will be paid out of joint bank account. So partner's capital account debit to joint bank account credit, total amount payable to winners is 75,000 plus 5,500 plus 2,400 plus 1,590 minus 25,000. So 59,490 is to be paid to Venus. Venus capital account debit to joint bank account credit. This is how the capital gets paid. Similarly, in case of Venus, 50,510 is to be paid. There is nothing is to be debited. So total amount to be paid to Venus is 50,510. The payment is to be made out of joint bank account. So joint bank account is to be credited for the payment being made. So what's the journal entry? Venus capital account debit 59,490. Venus capital account debit 50,510 to joint bank account. Now your total of joint bank account should tell you the total of credit and total of debit is also same. 1,95,000. No balance is ever carried forward when the partnership business is being closed down. So this is how the accounting for joint venture account is joint venture transaction is being made where independent books of accounts are maintained. When the independent books of accounts are maintained, generally we prepare joint bank account or joint cash and bank account. This is how it is being prepared. So I have tried to explain you this sum, which is a very small sum wherein concepts of joint venture, wherein independent books of accounts gets maintained is to be given. I have tried to explain you. I feel that you followed all these things. Thanks to all of you.